Michael here from uh, Crypto Mining Lab and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, reducing the power consumption of your ASIC miner. And the, uh, the way to do that is doing it through the uh, software. But be before we start uh, doing anything, I just want to put a disc disclaimer out there. If you do this, you're going to be doing it on your own risk because there is always a risk. Uh, it, when you start to uh, alter the settings on your uh, on your ASIC miner. So done with that, basically the, the only way to reduce the power consumption is going through the software and reducing uh, the voltage you're supplying to each uh, hash board. Uh, there is another way which is reducing the frequency of your hash board, but again, that's gonna reduce your uh, overall uh, hashing power. So we don't, we're gonna, we're gonna keep the uh, hash rate as standard as possible and then we want to reduce our power consumption through altering the voltage supply to the to the hash board and in this uh, in this case you need the first thing you need is you need an asset miner that has support from third-party uh, firmware uh, so in today's video gonna gonna be using sticking to the L3 plus from bitmain the ant miner L3 plus which has a lot of support from uh, third-party uh, companies that are making uh, custom custom uh, firmware. Uh, the reason you need an aftermarket uh, firmware is because the uh, original soft software from the factory doesn't allow you to do that. The only thing that allows you to do on the uh, original software is to reduce or increase your frequency. Uh, and the frequency is it's related to power consumption, but again, it's going to alter your uh, overall uh, hashing power. So we, we don't want to do that. Uh, so first of all, we need uh, an ASIC miner that has an aftermarket uh, support from the uh, third party uh, companies. Uh, for the L3 Plus, there are a lot of software there, but for today's video, we're going to be using uh, uh, the uh, aftermarket third party uh, uh, firmware which is called please uh, it's a free one I will gonna leave the uh, the link to download that uh, firmware uh, on the description uh, and the second thing you need is you need uh, you need to flash the firmware into your asset miner and basically to do that you have two options either doing it through the uh, through the web interface uh, for the L3 plus you have the option to do it through the uh, web interface if your miner is running the old firmware from Bitmain 2017 that allows you to flash through the web interface. If you're running the 2019 firmware, which is the latest uh, firmware for the L3 Plus, you have to do it through the, the micro SD card. Uh, basically, it's a very easy process. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to do that. So we're not gonna talk about that uh, in, in this video. So basically you have the uh, micro SD card slot here on your control board this is located here it's gonna put the firmware on the SD card plug it in here and flash your firmware and then after we flash the firmware uh, there's a few steps we're gonna take uh, to uh, you know it, it, it will take a few steps uh, test and try and errors before you get you know to uh, reduce the power consumption of your miner without you know without compromising the uh, the normal operation of your ASIC miner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll show you guys how to flash the firmware through the uh, web interface. And then I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step, but uh, keeping the hash rate as standard as possible and also keeping the uh, normal operation of the, uh, of the uh, ASIC miner. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you on the computer how to do it. Okay guys, so here we have the, uh, the we are on the, uh, the L3 Plus interface, as you can see here. Uh, this particular miner comes with a 2017 uh, uh, firmware, which is, should allow us to uh, upgrade the uh, firmware through the interface, for, through the web interface. So if you, if you want to check 
what version you have just go to uh, your system overview as and then file system version which is here the 2017 so I'm gonna try and go ahead and try uh, flash the firmware through uh, through the web interface so flash flash new firmware image I'm gonna choose my image uh, for today's video as I said I'm gonna be using the uh, uh, the uh, please uh, uh, firmware okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then you hit flash image and then you let it flash it will take up to maybe two or three minutes uh, to flash and then reboot okay so here we are the uh, have done the uh, image flash so basically as you can see right now uh, the uh, the name of the miner changed from the l3 plus to l3 plus please version uh, 1.02 so which means that we already flashed our uh, miner with uh, please software okay the, the 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 extra thing you're gonna get is uh, an extra menu here where if you go to minor configuration uh, and then you go to advanced this is the standard so this is where you uh, you know where you set your pools and everything but if you go to advanced this is the extra menu you get on the uh, the interface let me explain this so basically what you have here is uh, the global settings means whatever you put here for the frequency and the, uh, the SX voltage is going to be applied for all uh, hash boards and you have the option where you can set a different frequency and a different voltage for each hash board uh, for for now what I'm going to do is this is the uh, the the, uh, the uh, original frequency that comes with a minor this is 384 so we're, we're not going to alter anything to do with frequency the, the thing we're going to do here is if you see the 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 uh, default uh, pit main default voltage is 13 so what you're going to do is we're not going to go to the lowest let's say we're going to start from 5 we're going to start from 5 and then we're going to save that and uh, restart the miner and watch the miner for uh, the hash rate as well as the hardware errors so basically what we're going to do is you 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 want to change the voltage on your uh, on your ASIC miner but again you don't want to compromise anything uh, with your uh, normal operation so this is not I just touched the okay this is 384 okay I'm gonna hit save and apply and after the restart of the miner we're going to check uh, the total uh, you know voltage on uh, each uh, hash board and then we're going to see how much uh, how much uh, power reduction we have have made from just for this little step and just keep in mind that this miner comes with a power consumption of 800 uh, watts per hour and then we're going to try to reduce the voltage to level five keeping the same frequency and we just wait for it it should be already running so let me check okay here we have so the hash rate is already up but it's uh, it's not up there yet if we check this is the real time rt means real time this is the average so as you can see here the frequency is standard the uh, voltage is at five and here what we have is we have according to this frequency and the voltage so the power consumption is 189 watts per per hash board so you multiply that by four and you get your uh, your total uh, power consumption okay I'm gonna refresh the page okay now the hash rate is up it's not to the maximum yet but it's still okay so you can see we have no hardware errors yet which means uh, we can still lower the uh, the voltage even uh, further so let me uh, so every time you change that just give the miner like at least five minutes uh, five minutes time to run and check the hardware errors if you start to get a lot of hardware errors here means that your voltage is too low and you have to increase that and basically every 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 hash board 
might require a different a different voltage. So you start with the global settings. Uh, so you set all the uh, the hash pods with the, the same voltage. And, and then again, if one of the hash pods start to show uh, hardware errors and the others are fine, you just go and select that particular hash port and change its uh, its uh, voltage. So I'm gonna go ahead and go even lower. Let's go to three, and I'm gonna save and restart. Okay, I'm just gonna apply the uh, the settings, and we will see how much power reduction we're gonna get from there. Okay, the good thing with this uh, after you know aftermarket firmware, it's really fast. I mean. The, the reboot process is really fast compared to the original software. Okay, now it's not, it's not running yet, so give it a few seconds. When it starts to, uh, after the, the minor boots, you, you should see the hardware version here. But right now it's not showing up. This needs a few minutes. Uh, okay. okay, so we wait for that. And then, yeah, it's already here. So let me check uh, the hash rate. Hash rate is fine. And as you can see, we have no problem with hardware errors. Yes, it's not, it, it's not a long period of time. It's better to, to, you know, to let it work, to let it run at least for five minutes uh, before you do the next, uh, next change. Okay, the voltage now here is down to three and the uh, power consumption per hash board is down to 182. So if right now, if we calculate how much, uh, how much power consumption we have in right now, so if you take 182 multiply by, by four, that's 728. So that's uh, almost 80 watts uh, reduction uh, compared to the, to the original software. That's uh, 80 watts per hour reduction. Okay, it's it, it seems that the you know the 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 miner is running fine with this voltage. What I'm gonna do is I'm go I'm gonna try to lower it even further. I'm gonna go to the lowest uh, the lowest uh, voltage possible here, and we're gonna see if the uh, miner is happy with that. If 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 the miner is not happy with the settings, uh, it will start to show some uh, hardware errors. And once you start to see that, means that you, your your voltage level is too low, uh, so you have to increase that. Okay, now the miner is restarting, so I'll just give it a minute to to boot up again, and we will check the uh, power consumption. Okay, it's up again, and here we have some hash rate. The hash rate basically is the same, but as you can see here, the voltage, we are running the lowest voltage uh, possible. The frequency is uh, standard, and the, uh, the, uh, the power consumption, per, power consumption per, per hash board is down to 171. Uh, if you want to multiply that uh, by four, gives us, uh, 684 uh, watts per uh, for, for the for the overall for the miner so that's a reduction of uh, almost 120 uh, watts per hour the the other things you can do to reduce even a little bit further uh, as I explained earlier I said we don't, we don't want to mess with the frequency but if you just want to get a little bit less like uh, uh, less power consumption, you can reduce just slightly the, uh, uh, let's say from going from uh, uh, from 384 frequency to the uh, 381, which will not make a lot of difference in terms of uh, hash rate, but is gonna give you a little bit of extra power saving. I'm gonna try that, save it, and see if we can get to the uh, 600 650 watts per hour uh, consumption. Give it some time to uh, 
to boot and then we check the total voltage and also the good thing about this aftermarket third-party firmware the trans speed i mean the restart process is really fast as well as the <clears throat> they disable the uh, you know the fan test at every time the the minor restarts so you don't he you don't you don't hear that uh, high speed uh, fans kicking um, making a lot of noise so it's really uh, a good i mean it's a good option to have uh, if you're running N3 plus okay so here is the frequency is down to 381 voltage is as, as to the minimum and we are down to 170 170 if we take 170 and multiply that by 4 it's gonna give us 680 that's 680 watts per hour so that's a reduction of 120 watts per hour uh, the hash rate it's still it's still okay i mean it's close to what's uh yeah it's close to 500 so the average is close to 500 which is really good so what we've done here we have reduced the power consumption by uh, 120 watts per hour but still we kept the hash rate almost as as it's uh, you know it's supposed to be just keep an eye on the hardware here so you run the miner for let's say half hour ten, uh, you know an hour and see if the hard, if start to show some hardware errors here you can start to reduce the uh, uh, you, you can start to increase the power uh, the, the, the voltage here uh, to correct that so if you don't get any hardware error just leave it like that if you start to get a hardware error on all hash boards then you have to increase the global uh, the global uh, voltage for all the uh, hash boards. If you get the ha hardware errors on just one particular or two, you're just gonna change the voltage on that particular uh, hash board, and that's it. Okay, so here you have it, guys. This is a very simple way to reduce the power consumption in your uh, ASIC miner. That's 120 watts per hour. Uh, if you multiply that by 24 uh, per month, that's 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 quite a good power saving there. Okay guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you have learned something from this experiment. I mean, it's a very easy way and a very effective way to, uh, uh, to reduce the power consumption on your, uh, your ASIC miner. It's not a lot, that's uh, 120 uh, uh, watts per hour. But when you multiply that by, by 24 hours and then you multiply that per month and also if you're running like uh, 10, 20, 30, 30, 30 units of the L3 Plus, that's going to save you a lot of, a lot of power. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you, uh, you want me to do a different, a different minor, a different experiment. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.